Hello everyone. In this short tutorial, I would like to share uh, a new tip about adding servo number 17 to the, the Mini Darwin Mini. So what are you talking about, uh, servo 17? The Mini Darwin does come with only 16 servo and uh, it, it's used a dummy XL320 for its head. But as I am interested in theater robotics, uh, I want to use a real three six uh, XL three twenty for his head. Okay, I want to be able to be able to control, shall we say, its gaze when it's moving its uh, moving it's moving around. So first of all, you need to realize that the default MTNX file and task file would not apply because uh, the R plus motion uh, uh, does not have a real servo seventeen on it. So when you add servo seventeen, it's kind of on the side; it's not integrated into the 3D model. And I have not figured out how to do that yet, okay? So if you do the quick start manual, you go through all the steps, uh, just follow the manual until step 39. So if you have the manual in step 39, there's a cable seven, which is hooked up to servo one. So use the longest cable available to you, which is cable seven sixteen. For that uh, three pin cable for the three pin cable for cable seven. Uh, right now it's in the manual they show to use a cable thirteen, but use it a longer one. Reason is you need to have some leeway to push it through into the head uh, servo. And definitely do not pass that cable seven under the part called SPU five, so that we have more flexibility in in wiggling around that cable to uh, to connect everything together. And then get step forty. 53 done as shown in the manual. Well, step 54. So in the manual, they use a dummy XL320 here. And but for if you want to do this, go ahead and put a real one there and attach a cable 13 to it and then just feed it down and do the rectangular hole of the part DMF V01, which is essentially the, the thorax of the body of the Darwin Mini. Uh, you will attach this cable to the controller at a later step into the uh, three pin connector for the uh, Excel Dynamics cell. Next, fifth, uh, step 55 and 56 in the manual had to be revised somewhat. So for my, I found out that I need to attach the BT210 model first. And then that cable number seven from step 39 Spread it through the rectangular and attach to the head servo. Okay, so this is the cable seven, servo one from step 39. You can see the body frame part here. Just bring it that way, fit it through up the rectangular hole and attach it to the uh, real head servo motor now. So essentially when you do that, you just daisy chain it to the rest of the servo. So you get power and uh, data connection. And then you flip it around a little bit. I just use some duct tape to hold those two three pin cable out of the way. It's simply a template to hold it there. And then I can mount the controller as shown in the manual. And then of course the tape will be removed and then you can use, uh, you plug the uh, three pin cable into uh, the dynamic so uh, connector on the board. And after that, just continue with the other step of the manual to finish the body. 